What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Grow With Breeze. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create and set up a website using Lead Pages. Lead Pages is a powerful website building platform that allows you to create a website with the main focus of expanding your online presence and generating leads for your business. If you want to learn more about Lead Pages, definitely check out our full review of the platform on the channel. And for your convenience, if at any point you decide you're ready to get started with Lead Pages today, we have included our affiliate link to the platform in the video description. So definitely check out that link to get the latest info on pricing, deals, and promotions. That being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Lead Pages, and once you're here, you're gonna see this screen if you already have an account. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna assume you don't. So we're gonna hit sign up free, and we're gonna be taken to this page. Now, keep in mind, Lead Pages does have a 14-day trial as of the recording of this video. That may change, but for now, you do have to sign up with a plan before you actually can start the trial, so keep that in mind. We're gonna hit Start a Lead Pages Trial, and you're gonna be asked to select a plan. Now, we won't be talking about the pricing info in this video because that information is always changing, but if you do wanna get the latest info on the pricing, deals, and promotions, definitely check out our affiliate link so you can get all of that. That being said, you're gonna to wanna to select a plan and then it's gonna have you put in your information and sign up for lead pages. Now this is the main dashboard, but when you sign up for the first time, it's actually gonna take you to the create new site page. So I'm gonna to go to that so you can follow along. So this is the page that's gonna take you when you sign up for the first time and you're gonna be asked to choose a theme based on your business or the purpose of your website. For the purposes of this tutorial, I went ahead and selected this real estate page. I thought it looked really cool, so I just chose this one, but obviously you're gonna wanna choose the one that fits your business and your brand the best. Now Lead Pages has one of the easiest to use editors I've seen. I would say that compared to other platforms, Lead Pages is like a combination of Weebly and Squarespace. On one hand, it has the cool, professional looking aesthetics of Squarespace, but on the other hand, it's a little bit easier. You can still drag things around a little bit, kind of like you can with Weebly. With Squarespace, you have to rely entirely on spacers and that sort of thing. But with lead pages, you really can move around these content blocks just a little bit. It's still a grid system, which is good in a way because you don't need to worry about messing things up. It's really optimized to the point where at least it'll look good even if it doesn't look exactly how you want it to. Now you can easily edit the text, change the font, all that good stuff. Then you can also add what's called a section. In sections are basically other areas of the website you can use to put more content on. So we're just gonna add this here. And you can edit the buttons, of course, and do all that kind of thing. Another thing I wanna go over is how you can change the layout of the page itself. With this platform, you can't drag and drop sections, but you can change the layout another way. You're gonna go to the layout section right here. And now you can move everything around. So for example, we're gonna put this one step under. So there we go. Now featured listings is at the top and the title page is below. Obviously in real life that would make no sense at all, but you get the picture. You can also rename the sections however you want. This isn't gonna be visible to the actual website visitors, but it could help you edit the website a little bit easier. Now, in addition to editing the page layout itself, you can also edit the pages too. So this is basically the same thing as the layout of a single page, but instead it's actually the layout of all the pages. You're gonna hit this and now you have all the pages listed right here. You can switch them around however you want and you can of course add more pages as well. Another cool thing about the pages is the hidden pages. There are pages like the 404 error page. You can actually edit that and make it look however you want, which I think is really cool because even though no one wants to see a 404 error page, it's better to see a little message that looks nice and professional than just a blank page making it look like the whole thing crashed. The hidden from navigation pages are basically things you don't wanna be available through the header, but rather stuff that you can link to. So maybe additional about sections or a landing page or something like that. 
And here we got the widget section. This can be really cool if you want to add like a video, something like that. More types of content to help describe your products and services and that sort of thing. And they're really easy to edit too. You can even embed videos from YouTube and that sort of thing right here. So the styles section is basically fonts and colors. You can change the site background here, font styles, all that sort of thing to better personalize it to fit the way you want it to look. Now, when you're done editing your website, you're gonna wanna hit update, or you can also preview it to see what it's gonna look like to your visitors. I would recommend doing this just to double check and see exactly how it's gonna look. That way you know for sure you're getting things the way you wanna see it, and you have the mobile view up here, and you also have a tablet view, which is actually really cool because lots of other platforms out there don't have this. When you're ready to actually finalize your changes, go ahead and hit update and it's gonna be all ready to go. So we're back in the dashboard section and we're gonna go over a few different things in here that you're gonna to wanna to know about. The first one is landing pages. Landing pages are a great way to gather leads in the most direct way possible. So say you're running a marketing campaign, running a Facebook ad, something like that, and you just want a simple page that's not actually your website itself, but still has your domain and branding where you can capture emails to generate leads from. So a landing page is basically just that. And lead pages makes really good landing pages that look really professional and are quick and easy to make. If you have multiple websites, you can manage them all from the site section and see the analytics as well. The analytics here aren't as fancy and sophisticated as other platforms out there, but if you're a beginner, this is gonna be perfect for you because it's super easy to read and it's all straight to the point, all the information you need to know to see how your conversions are working. There are also some additional conversion tools like pop-ups, alert bars, that kind of thing that you'll see if you're clicking around on a website, you're bound to see one of the things popping up asking for your email. It's on pretty much every website and with lead pages, you can make them really easily and they look really professional too. The lead section is where you're gonna be able to manage all your leads all from one place Really easy, really straightforward. Now the branding section here is more for fonts and colors. This is where if you have a custom font or something like that that you wanna upload, you can do that here. So you can have it saved when you're updating and designing websites. One thing I really like about lead pages is you can actually select exact color numbers, which lots of other website platforms do this, but with lead pages, you can actually save it under your brand so you don't have to keep remembering the codes because there are some sites that generate the colors for you. They go together really nicely. So if you choose your colors that way and then come to a platform to create your website, it's nice to know that you can just save them under your brand and not have to go looking for it again. The lead magnet section is basically where you're gonna find some marketing tools. Lead Pages partners with a company called Attract.io that has some really powerful marketing tools to help you grow your brand more. And speaking of integrations, if you use something like MailChimp or ConvertKit, basically any email marketing tool, you can integrate it with Lead Pages here. Now we're gonna go over some more behind the scenes stuff. Hopefully you'll never have to use this, but if you get stuck on something or there's an issue with your website, you can go to the support section here. That's really easy to get to. You can even chat with customer support during business hours or otherwise you can open a support ticket and they'll get back to you as soon as they can. If you ever wanna manage your account info, you can hit this drop down by your name and get everything from account settings, billing, lead notifications, even if you're part of the affiliate program and want information on that, you can get to it from here. You can also get sub accounts, all kinds of different things. And one thing that I think is really important with any type of website is the domain. Managing domains can be a little annoying on some website platforms because it always seems to be in some obscure location where you have to press a bunch of different buttons and then when you have to go back to it again for any reason, you probably will have forgotten how to do it and have to find it all over again. But with lead pages, you actually have a dedicated domain section where you can see all your domain information and connect a new domain as well. This is really nice because it makes it so much more convenient. And if you're a beginner who's not too familiar with domains and how they work anyway, it can be really frustrating to have to click around a bunch of times over a bunch of different menus to find this info. 
But that was a quick tutorial on how to create and set up a website using Lead Pages. Lead Pages is probably one of the easiest, fastest platforms I've ever used to create a website. And if you're a beginner and your needs aren't too complex, it's a great option to get started. If you want to learn more about the platform itself, definitely check out our full review of the platform on the channel. And if you're ready to get started today, don't forget to check out our affiliate link where you can get all the latest info on pricing, deals, and promotions. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot. But that's it for this video. I will see you in the next Grow With Breeze video.